Blister beetles aren't given their name for no reason. These small insects produce a chemical known as cantharidin, which causes painful blisters on contact. It's also been known that horses can get sick or even die if eating hay infested with the pests. So in this video, we'll show you how to treat for blister beetles so you and your family can stay safe. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There are over 250 species of blister beetle found in the US, but there are common characteristics among them. Blister beetles are soft-bodied insects that grow up to three quarters of an inch in length. They come in a variety of different colors and patterns. Most blister beetles have a long cylindrical abdomen, narrow thorax, and a head wider than the thorax. In some species, the length of the wings does not cover the length of the thorax. While this video primarily focuses on blister beetles, look out for false blister beetles as well. These insects look similar, and they also produce the same cantharidin that blister beetles are known for. The thorax of a false blister beetle is wider towards the front and covers the head slightly. This makes it so the beetle appears to have no neck. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Blister beetles are outdoor pests that feed on the plant leaves, nectar, or pollen of different plants. Different species have different preferred food sources. You'll have to examine your plants closely for eaten leaf edges and the beetles themselves. If you grow plants to feed horses with, like alfalfa or other hay, check those closely. Blister beetles are active during the day and are attracted to lights at night. Blister beetle larvae feed on grasshopper and bee eggs, so if you've had infestations of those, the blister beetle population may increase. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time for treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Since blister beetles secrete cantharidin when disturbed or crushed, we recommend you wear full body coverage. The key to safely eliminating blister beetles from your property is to address their food sources first. Target weeds like ironweed, pigweed, or ragweed with a product like Fahrenheit herbicide. Fahrenheit is a selective post-emergent herbicide made with 33% dicamba and 5% metsulfuron methyl. This product, when applied according to its label directions, can be applied to kill weeds without harming warm season turf grasses. Fahrenheit takes the form of a water dispersible granule, or WDG, and will need to be mixed with water in a handheld pump sprayer or a backpack sprayer before application. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of product into one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Lightly spray the solution where weeds are established. Use a fan spray setting to get an even coating on the plant's leaves. Spray on a calm day to avoid drift and be careful not to overapply your product. You should start to see Fahrenheit take effect after one to two weeks. For broadcast applications on larger properties, you can apply this product with a spray rig. Mix three to 12 ounces of product into 20 to 80 gallons of water to apply over one acre. The exact rate will vary depending on the weeds you're treating and the native turf grass. Read the product's label thoroughly to avoid turf injury. Once you've treated weeds, you can address the food source that larvae feed on, grasshoppers. To treat grasshoppers, we recommend you use an insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate made with 7.9% bifenthrin. This product is a concentrate, so in a handheld or backpack sprayer, mix 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product into one gallon of water to treat over 1,000 square feet. Broadcast the solution evenly over your lawn, apply it over any ornamentals on your property, and conduct a perimeter application around the outer perimeter of your home. Labeled pests, including grasshoppers, that make contact with the spray or its residual will have their nervous systems impacted and will die in hours. After all food sources have been dealt with, you can finally treat for blister beetles using a dust insecticide like Defense Dust. We recommend targeting these pests with dust rather than spraying them to avoid disturbing the beetles to where they would release their blistering chemical. Defense Dust is a dry insecticidal dust made with 0.5% delta methrin. To apply this product, you'll need a handheld duster. The product's application rate is 8 ounces over 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Simply apply a thin layer of defense dust on the upper and lower sides of leaves, stems, and flowers. Blister beetles that make contact with the dust will have their nervous systems impacted and will die in several hours. Repeat this treatment once every seven days until blister beetles have stopped appearing. 
Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. The best way to stop blister beetles from infesting is to ensure their food sources can't grow on your property. You can prevent weeds from growing by applying a product like Barricade Granular Pre-Emergent. This product is made with prodiamine. When applied properly, Barricade will form a chemical barrier that will stop weeds from sprouting. Barricade comes in a granular form, so you'll need a broadcast push spreader to apply it. You'll use between 1.5 to 4 pounds of Barricade depending on your turf type. Broadcast half your granules in parallel lines once across the area, then broadcast the other half at a perpendicular angle to cover the area entirely. Once the product is fully applied, water it in. Most effective control can be achieved with at least half an inch of water within 14 days of application. Finally, make scheduled reapplications of Supreme IT to your lawn, ornamentals, and your home's perimeter to prevent grasshoppers from laying eggs. Supreme IT leaves a residual that will last for up to 90 days, so make applications every four months for year-round control. Blister beetles produce noxious chemicals and pose threats to people and animals. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop blister beetles from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.